Compared to Eurasia and North and South America, Africa isn't particularly well known for its dinosaur fossils. But the dinosaurs that did live on this continent during the Mesozoic era were amongst the fiercest on the planet. Welcome to RNI TV and this is the Did You Know segment with me your host Espila Caleb and today we are going to look at 10 most important dinosaurs of Africa. Number one, we have the Spinosaurus. The Spinosaurus is the biggest meat-eating dinosaur that ever lived, even larger than the Tyrannosaurus rex, which is also known as the T-Rex. Spinosaurus was also one of the most distinctive looking with its sailed back and long narrow crocodile-like skull. This was probably the adaptation to a particular aquatic lifestyle, maybe to capture fish and the likes. As was the case with its fellow plus-sized African theropods, Cacodontosaurus. The original fossils of Spinosaurus were destroyed during an Allied bombing raid on Germany in World War II. Then we have the Audonyx. The Audonyx, beside its pride of place at the top of any complete a to Z list of dinosaurs, the recently discovered Audonyx was one of the earliest prosauropods and thus distinctively and distantly a central to the giant sauropods and titanosaurus of the late Mesozoic era. Please know that the uh, sauropods are the largest herbivores that ever lived in the uh, Jurassic period. Dating to the early Jurassic period, about 195 million years ago, the slender half-ton Audonyx represented an intermediate stage between the two-legged sauropodomorphs that presented, preceded it and its giant descendants 10 of millions of years ago. Then we have the Oronosaurus. The Oronosaurus is one of the few identified Hadosaurus and duck-billed dinosaurs to live in Northern Africa during the Cretaceous period. Oronosaurus was also one of the str strangest. The multi-ton plant eater had a series of spines jutted out from the backbone, which may have supported either the Spinosaurus-like sail or a fatty camel-like hump, which would have been an important source of nutrition and hydration in the patched habitat. Assuming it was cold-blooded, Oronosaurus may also have used its sail to warm up during the daily daytime and dissipated excess heat at night. Then we have the Carcharodontoras. The Carcharodontoras was the great white shark lizard, shared its African habitat with the bigger Spironosaurus, yet it was most closely related to another gigantic theropod of South America, that is the Gigantosaurus. Clue is one of the distributed of the world's land masses during the Mesozoic era. This means that it was very, very uh, known during the South Africa. Uh, it was well known in the Mesozoic era. So South America and Africa were once joined together in a giant continent of Gondwana. Sadly, the original fossil of this dinosaur was destroyed in a bombing raid in World War II. Then we have Herodontorus. Herodontosaurus represents an important intermediate stage in dinosaur evolution. It immediates, its immediate predecessors were ancient theropods like Yukosa, but it had already begun to evolve into plant eating direction. That's why this differently toothed lizard possessed such a, a confusing array of teeth, some seemingly suited for slicing through the flesh and other grinding up plants. Even given its early Mesozoic lineage, Heterodontorus was once an unusually tiny dinosaur, only about 3 feet long and 10 pounds. 3 feet is roughly 1 meter. Yukosa is number 6. As explained, it is during the Triassic period, South America and South Africa and Africa were both parts of the supercontinent Gondwana. 
that helps to explain why even though the earliest dinosaurs are believed to have evolved in South America about 230 million years ago, ancient theropods like the tiny two-legged Eurosa, Eucasa, Greek for dawn runner, have been discovered in South Africa, dating to only about 20 million years ago. The omnivore Eucosa was probably a close relative of the similarly sized Heterodontosaurus described in the previous number. Then we have Afrovenata. Afrovenata, although it wasn't clearly or nearly as big as its fellow African theropods, Spinosaurus and Car Carcarodontorus. Afrovenata is important for two reasons. First, its type of fossil is one of the most complicated and complete theropod skeletons ever to be discovered in Northern Africa by paleontologist Paul Sereno. And second, the predatory dinosaur seems to have been closely related to the European Megalosaurus. Yet, more evidently, it is to show the slow drift of the Earth's continent during the Mesozoic era. Suchomimus. The Suchomimus is a close relative of the Spinosaurus. Suchomimus is Greek for crocodile mimic. Possessed a similarly long crocodile-like snout, though it lacked Spinosaurus' distinctive sail. Its narrow skull, combined with its long arms, pointed to Suchomimus having been a devoted fish, fish eater been a devoted fish eater, which implies its kinship with the European Baryonyx as one of the few Spinosaurus to live outside South America and Africa. Like Spinosaurus, Suchomimus may also have been an accomplished swimmer through direct evidence for this is comparatively lucky. Then we have Massospondylus. Massospondylus is yet another important trust transitional dinosaur from South Africa, Massospondylus was one of the first prosauropods ever to be named, way back in 1854 by famous British naturalist Richard Owen. This sometimes bipedal, sometimes quad quadrupedal plant eater of the early Jurassic period was an ancient cousin of sauropods and dinosaurs of the later Mesozoic era and itself evolved from the earliest theropods, which evolved in then adjoining South America about 230 million years ago. Then we have the last one, which is Valka Nodon. And before we talk about the last one, the first 500 people to like, subscribe and share will get 100 years of good luck. Valka Don, although few classic sauropods, seems to have lived in Mesozoic Africa. This continent is littered with the remains of their much smaller ancestors. One of the most important discoveries in the vein is Valkanodon, a relatively small, only about 20 feet long and 4 to 5 pounds, that is 6 meters and 4 to 5,000 uh, kilograms, plant eater that occupied a position intermediate between the earliest prosauropods of the Triassic and early Jurassic periods, such as the Arodonyx and the Maso and the Masospondinus, and the giant sauropods and the titanosaurs of the late Jurassic and Cretaceous period. That was it folks. Remember to like, subscribe and share for more of this content each and every week. My name is Espila Caleb and this is RNI TV, the Did You Know segment. See you next time.